There's no better place than Cannes on the French Riviera to talk about luxury and its biggest empire, LVMH. The group's fashion brands, Christian Dior, Louis Vuitton or Givenchy, are regulars on the red carpet, along with jewelry makers Bulgari and Chaumet, while Moët or Dom Pérignon champagnes are often flowing behind the scenes. In total, LVMH counts 75 luxury brands. The founder and CEO of the French conglomerate, Bernard Arnault, became the world's richest man last month, after the net worth of Tesla's Elon Musk tumbled. Bernard Arnault can stay at the helm of his luxury powerhouse until he's 80, after the company lifted the maximum age of its CEO. But over the past few years, he's been carefully crafting his succession plan, slowly elevating his five children to bigger roles. His only daughter, Delphine, has just been named CEO of the couture brand Dior. His eldest son, Antoine, now runs the Christian Dior family holding, which controls LVMH. The third child, Alexandre, has been a vice president at jeweler Tiffany, which his father acquired during the pandemic for $16 billion in the most high-profile luxury M&A saga. Then you've got Frédéric, who runs the Swiss watchmaker Tiger Air. And the youngest one, Jean, 24 years old, is developing Louis Vuitton watches. All five of the billionaires' heirs are vying to take over their dad's luxury empire. And incidentally, Europe's most valuable company.